why do most real estate investors not have a license? Well, first let's talk about the role of a real estate investor and then the role of a real estate agent. The role of a real estate investor is to find a property that they can make money on, whether that's flipping, buying and holding, syndicating on larger deals, whatever it is, their purpose ends up being the same of making a profit through real estate. Now, a real estate agent's job is to either represent a buyer or a seller throughout this transaction. Now that representation isn't just doing paperwork, it's actually finding deals for your buyer clients. So the benefit to the investor if they have their own license is, you know, you might be able to save some money with commissions along the way. That's probably the biggest benefit. But now let's talk about the downfalls and see if it's worth it. Downfall number one, let's just talk dollars to dollars. Yeah, say, you know, you're able to save some money on commissions, but then if you're an agent and you have your license with the broker, a lot of brokers have door fees. You know, just for being at their brokerage, you have to pay, you know, anywhere between zero to a thousand dollars a month to hang up your license at the brokerage. Two, you have your MLS dues. You know, that's anywhere between one to two thousand dollars a year to have your license active and you get to be a part of the board of realtors. Number three, you have your just MLS fees. It's about $50 a month to have access to the MLS. So assuming the dollars to dollars is the same or more beneficial if you have your license, the next thing we want to take a look at is the level of responsibility that you have as a real estate agent. As real estate agents, we're held to a higher standard. As real estate agents, if we mess up on some paperwork or we mess up on a transaction, it's really the broker that's held responsible for it. So investors also have sometimes a harder time finding brokers that are okay with them doing what they're doing and them self-representing. If something goes wrong with the paperwork and you set it up, then you're 100% responsible for it. If your agent set it up or messed up on something, then now they become responsible for it. So you're able to get away from some of the liability. And on top of that, if you're working with a good agent who's doing these things very often, odds are you'll have a lot less potential issues than if you're just doing it yourself and you're only looking at one or two deals a year. And now the biggest thing for me is again, working with an agent who can find you a good deal. Frankly, even though I'm an agent, I'm also an investor. So if I have another agent who's gonna bring me a great deal, I'm fine with not taking any commissions on it and I'm fine with them making commissions on it if the deal is good enough for me. So if you're working with a good agent who's bringing you deals, frankly, that's gonna be worth a lot more and you're gonna make a lot more than you're gonna save by having your license. So if you're an investor here in Utah County and wanna work with an agent who's been investing for a while, feel free to reach out to me. I'm happy to help with whatever I can. And even if you're outside of Utah County or Utah at all, also feel free to reach out. We're a part of a relatively big network and we have agents who are working all over the country and who are also very investor savvy. So again, reach out if you have any questions. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks again.